the area under the curve, of the probability density function, or PDF, of a continuous random variable, tells us how likely it is for that variable to take on a value within the certain interval of the sample space. PDF has three properties, which we will discuss next, alongside with an example. We will use an example of a task, which takes from 2 to 3 minutes, and is equally likely to finish at any time, within this interval. The first property, is that the domain of PDF, must consist of every possible value of its random variable. In case of our example, this means that PDF, must exist for every possible value, within the interval of real numbers, from 2 to 3. The second property, is that at any point, PDF must be more, or equal to 0. Unlike in the case of the discrete variables, PDF does not have to be less or equal to 1. We will now examine why. The diagram on the slide, shows the PDF corresponding to our example. We can see that at any point between 2 and 3, PDF is equal to 1. For example, at y equaling 2.5, PDF is 1. But, this does not mean that this event will always occur. There are infinite number of values within the interval of real numbers between 2 and 3. 2.5, is just one number. In our interval, we have infinite different numbers. In this example, the probability of getting that exact number out of infinite different numbers, would be 1 over infinity, or 0. PDF does not give the probabilities of exact values from the sample space, instead, it lets us find the probabilities of outcomes from intervals. This is done by taking the integral of the PDF, over the desired region. For example, let's find the probability of our task to finish within the interval from 2.4, to 2.6 minutes. Since the integral is same as the area under the curve, we can solve this problem by inspection. 2.6 minus 2.4 is 0.2. This is our width. From the graph, we can see that the height is 1. Multiplying width and height, we find that the probability of the task to finish within the interval from 2.4 to 2.6 minutes is 0.2. The third property, is that the integral of PDF, over the entire region, must be equal to 1. We can see that the area of our example is 1 times 1. So our PDF satisfies this property. To recap, the integral of PDF, tells us the probability of outcome, occurring from the region we are integrating from. PDF must exist for every possible outcome of its random variable, it should be more or equal to zero at every point. And the area under the curve, of the entire region, must be equal to one.